So let's say we take a look at this stainless steel air stone from Heiger. They sent it to me and asked me to do a review. So I think I can do that for them. This is Ron Grutch, Aquatics 2023. Let's take a look at this Heiger 304 stainless steel air stone. And it is this one here, uh, the HG126 round M. And we will see what it looks like inside. Let's unbox it here. And get that open. All right. Let's take it apart. I think stuff's going to come falling out. Yep. All right. Um, I'm going to set this back up here. There is a little little brochure, uh, contact information, warranty information, and it opens up long ways. And there's a little bit of pay attention to this and product features and how to install it. So let's see what we got here and a packing list. All right, so in this, there is a bunch of uh, airline. Let's see if it says how much. Uh, it does not, it just says air stone, air tube, suction cup, air volume control valve, check valve, T-shaped shunt tube, and the user manual. So this is what they're calling an air tube. Uh, but it looks like it's a fair amount. Um, I don't know, there's probably, I'm going to guess, I'm going to have to open it and measure it, but just, just at a look, it looks like about six feet or so, maybe ten. And then, in this little package here, uh, here's the check valve. Those are one-way valves, if you don't know about those. Air goes through in one direction only, and the idea is if you have your pump below the water level of your aquarium, and your pump goes out, it can start a back siphon and start drawing water out of the tank, through the pump, all over your living room floor. So the idea is to have this check valve and this one-way valve that will stop water. It allows water to go from the pump to, in this case, the air stone. But if, there, if the pump goes out, water can only back up as far as this check valve and no further, and it won't go through through the air pump and all over your living room floor. And here's this uh, T shunt valve. It's just a, a essentially it's a, a, a three, not a valve, I'm sorry, a fitting. So it allows you to bring air in one direction and split it off into two more. Uh, and then their, their uh, air control valve. And those are always nice to, to put in line. That way you can, you know, regulate the airflow from, directly from the air pump. And you can actually, you can do multiples um, if you put this between this T and the air stone, you can regulate just the air stone. So it's really kind of an isolation valve in this case. And let's see what else we got here. And a suction cup. So you can suction cup your airline to the side of the tank uh, to kind of keep it where you want it. Those are nice. They always come in handy. And last but not least is the air stone itself. And it's, uh, it looks like an anodized stainless steel. And it's got the Hyger logo on the stone itself. And, and it's this disc, and I guess it's about two and a quarter inches. Uh, air goes in here, and a stream of bubbles should come up here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fish out this other air stone I have in uh, the tank in front of us here, and then we'll attach it. Let's give it a try. Here's my existing air stone. It's just one of those round stone discs. Now I'm not gonna install the check valve on this. I have one in line already. Um, and we'll just, we're testing the air stone here. All the other stuff, the valve, the air valve, those are good little valves, they work. So I'm just gonna plug this on here. There we are. Just slide that down, okay? And then I'm gonna drop this in the tank and my sword tails are going nuts because that's what they do. And they are about Hyger Orange now that I think about it. And there we go, let me adjust you down a little bit. That's a nice little stream of bubbles here. Yeah, I like that. Well, that's kind of cool. So, and I just pushed the, uh, push the base of the air stone, just sort of twisted it down into the gravel. I've got some coarser gravel. If you had sand it, it'd settle right in. The fish sure seem to enjoy it, but I like the bubble stream, the, the multiple bubble streams, and they're fine bubbles. 
uh, which is really nice. So that's really, really good for, uh, you know, uh, uh, aerating the water column. I like that a lot better than just the big stream of bubbles that comes up off of other things. When I do sponge filters, I often modify those and put an air stone inside of them to get a smaller, a finer bubble flow coming up out of the sponge filter. This is very cool. Uh, I, I, I would definitely, I'm recommending this. Uh, I'll put a link uh, down in the description uh, from Amazon for this particular airstone. Uh, I'm guessing the other one, uh, the, uh, the one on the right there, HG126 rim, it looks like it's a different shape. Uh, but I'm betting money it's gonna work exactly the same way, the same kind of bubble stream. So there you are, the Heiger 304 stainless steel airstone HG126 round M. And again, I think it looks like kind of an anodized metal uh, it's stainless steel, so that should be uh, non-corrosive, and it should be perfectly safe with, uh, I think the biggest thing are the invertebrates. Uh, shrimp, with, with certain metals in the water, shrimp, you know, that can do them in. But stainless steel, it's supposed to be a kind of an inert metal. It should be all right. should be good to go. So thanks for watching. I'm sorry I did it again, huh? Thanks for watching.